Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoahJ456, and today, my friends, I'm going to be showing you how to get all three versions of the Blender Get in your inventory at the exact same time, and better yet, each one has its own ammo supply. I showed you guys how to do this with two different Blender Guts, and they actually kind of patched it so they use the same ammo supply, but now there's a method to actually use all three Blender Guts. You get the Acid Get, you get the Magma Get, and you get the Sweeper all at the exact same time, all pack a punch and all using their own ammo supply, which just, in my opinion, makes for the most fun game of Blood of the Dead I've ever seen in my entire life. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the tutorial here, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this trick. Now, the only requirement to do this is that before the game starts, you need to make sure you have whatever perks in the first three slots, but on your fourth slot, you have to have Secret Sauce. This is basically the random perk generator. will give you a random perk each time you buy it, and you will absolutely need this in order to do this trick. So once you get in game, the first thing that you need to do is you need to fill up all the dog heads and get the Hell's Retriever. And there's going to be a lot of point building to do this as well because you're going to have to get pretty lucky with the box and the secret sauce machine. So go ahead and keep building up points. But once you have the Tomahawk, you're going to go ahead and make your way to these spots right here. Collect the first skull right there on top of that wooden box. Collect the second skull over here at the docks. And you're going to be purposely avoiding the one over by the warden's office. So only collect the skulls that I'm showing you here. The next one is over here by the spawn. And then last but not at least we have the one over here by the library go ahead and collect that skull and then purposely you're going to be purposely leaving the one by the warden's office unclaimed for the finale of this easter egg so once you have all of those skulls collected you're going to go ahead and collect all of the acid gap parts and once again you will need the warden's key to do this so go ahead and build the shield as well and go ahead and get pack a bunch open all at the same time because uh we're basically just going we're just gonna have to chase pack a bunch around on this because there's gonna be a whole lot of pack a bunch that we need to do so go ahead get the acid gap parts get all of the shield parts and then get set up get pack a bunch open and then basically at this point you're going to need to get all of your perks so this is the part where points are going to become extremely extremely important for you because you need to buy your brew cola and soda slots whatever they may be it doesn't matter at all but you need to buy those three first and then you need to head over to the tonic machine which is over here in the warden's office and you need to start hitting it until you get mule kick in your last slot you basically just have to keep on hitting it keep on spinning it until you get mule kick in that last slot and once you do that make your way over to the box and start hitting the box and then keep switching out for your mule kick weapon you're going to keep on switching over and over over and over and you have to make sure you basically get lucky enough you spin the box until you get the blunder gat in your mule kick slot if you don't get it in your mule kick slot it will not work you have to get it in your mule kick slot and once you do that once you have the blunder gat in your mule kick slot you can actually see that on the lower right it has a little mule kick symbol that is your that is your mule kick gun once you have the blunder gat there you're gonna go ahead and pack a punch it and go turn it into the acid gat and then the vitriolic withering you can do this again in whatever order you can pack a punch first or you can turn it in the acid gat first it doesn't matter it doesn't cost any more points or anything like that you're going to turn this thing into the vitrolic withering like i said this is going to require a whole lot of points and a lot of luck to do all of this and it will take a bunch of rounds to get set up for this but go ahead and turn this into the vitrolic withering go ahead and pack, pack a punch it get it into the acid gap version and then you're going to make your way back over to the tonic machine you're going to make your way back over and you're actually going to get rid of mule kick and this will actually take your weapon away and store it so that next time you get mule kick, you're actually going to get this weapon back. So once you have gotten rid of the vitrolic withering, you can actually start hitting the box again and another blunder gat will be in the box. So keep on hitting it until you get the blunder gat. Once you finally get it out of the box, head over to the pack a punch and pack a punch this bad boy and make sure you have an additional 5,000 points in your inventory so this next step will work. So at this point, we have the blunder gat in our hands upgraded into the sweeper and we have an extra 5,000 points in our inventory or close to it. And you're going to go ahead and put the upgraded blunder gat into the fireplace at the warden's house now once this is in here go ahead and start killing the zombies walk over their souls to collect the souls and actually power up the three skulls on the top and once all three of the skulls are glowing blue once you have basically collected enough souls you do not want to deposit the essence just yet you don't want to hold square to deposit the essence you actually want to head back outside throw your tomahawk at the telephone pole and get the last skull and spawn the free blunder gat on the desk and when you get this free blunder gat you need to take it over Pack a punch this bad boy once again, and this one will actually be the sweeper that you keep in your inventory. You are completely done with this one. It is the sweeper. So now at this point, you should have two guns in your inventory. You'll have a random gun. In my case, this is the mog, and then you'll have the sweeper. So you want to take out the mog. You want to make sure you have the mog in your hand or whatever extra gun that you have, and you want to go back over to the fireplace, and you want to go ahead and deposit the essence and then pick up the temper blunder gat. Once again, be very careful not to hit triangle or anything like that. During this process, make sure you do not switch guns or anything because that will actually lose this 
this and kind of mess this up and you won't be able to get it again. Basically, once you have this in your hand, you'll have the tempered blunder guide in your hand and you're going to go ahead and head all the way to the spawn just like normal and you're going to insert it into the fireplace and uh, actually craft this thing in the furnace to the magma get. So now at this point, you should have the sweeper and the upgraded magma get in your hands, which is two out of the three. Now, all you need to do in order to actually get your vitrolic withering back is head back over to the tonic machine, start hitting it over and over. It'll cost 2.5k each time and you actually want to get that mule kick back and as soon as you get the mule kick back your gun will come with it which means at this point we have all three upgraded blunder gats in our inventory and not only that each one uses its different ammo supply so there's there's 60 shots with with bandolier bandit in each of the magma gat and the vitrolic withering and then there's about 120 shots in the upgraded blunder gat the sweeper so you get an insane amount of ammo you get the insanely insanely powerful guns it does take a while to do this especially if you're if you don't have a lot of points if you don't have a lot of point building techniques and everything like that but once you finally get everything in your inventory and ready to go you are good and you finally 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 have all three of the blender gats in your inventory it's absolutely insane easter egg i think this is really really cool it's actually a super sick way to use the game systems to actually get all of this stuff and uh it's actually really really fun and i enjoy it a whole lot so that is it for the tutorial guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this if you have go ahead and hit the like button hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any other ideas for things that i could try with this and uh any different kind of methods on different maps and stuff like that and i will definitely try to make tutorials if it's possible on any other maps that being said guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for coming out i appreciate you guys i love you guys i'll see you all in the next one and peace out